Hey guys, Jason from TCG Alerts. A couple of things we're going to do today. First, we're going to announce our new alert, the potential equilibrium alert. This is a brand new one that we rolled out quietly just the other day. You may have noticed it in your premium alerts configurations. I'm going to walk you through this alert, explain what it does, why we use it, and show you some examples from our testing and show you how to set it up in your alert system. And we're going to walk through some more recent alerts and take a look at the crypto universe as it's been unfolding according to the alert system over the last few days or so. So first, let's take a look at our new alert, the potential equilibrium alert. So first, we need to understand what an equilibrium is. An equilibrium is balance. It's unknown forces pushing and pulling in either direction until you reach a hinge point in price action. So in front of us on LTC USD, 30 minutes on Coinbase, we can see a very excellent example of an equilibrium alert. Now, this is made of a few components. In general, we need a nice big push to the upside or downside that you see in quick price action. So if you have your price shear alert configured on the alert system, this is the sort of thing that triggers a price shear. Often we'll see increasing volume resulting in equilibrium. So we get a big initial push to the upside or the downside. We establish a range of a high and a low, and then we start bouncing around inside that range, slowly tightening and coiling over time. And then once we reach a certain point, bulls or bears make a decision and one of the bullies pushes the other far enough, the price can continue to the upside. So what does this look like in more detail? Well, we've already explained that we have our big initial push in this example, and we need to start setting up some ranges for our equilibrium. So here's our first push, and we look and we watch and we see just how far the bulls are able to carry this pressure. Once the bears are able to fight back a little bit, we've established our upper range and we have a higher high. Now we need to establish a higher low. So once we've established our extreme range to the upside, we need to balance that extreme range to the downside, creating our equilibrium area. Now, this is not an equi equilibrium yet because we have not yet started to ping pong back and forth in this range. So what we do is we start setting lower highs and higher lows, eventually coiling and tightening our ranges. So each time we get a lower high or higher low, the range of our equilibrium starts to shrink. Once we trip past one of these tightening levels, that is when the equilibrium is broken to the upside or downside and volume often comes into play. So in this example, we can see that coming in perfectly. We have our equilibrium formed. We've got our higher low, lower high, higher low, lower high, higher low. Finally, the bulls on increasing volume are able to push and break above this threshold and that just signals the beginning of the return of bull pressure and we see the price move fairly significantly before pulling back. So from the break of equilibrium of 6071, we managed to hit a high of 6279. So equilibriums in general are incredibly useful tools and that's why we've been spending a lot of time trying to make a potential equilibrium alert for you guys and that's what we've rolled out over the last couple of days. So let's take a look at that in more detail. So here we are in the alert system. We're laying at Bitcoin USD on Coinbase, 60 minute time frame, and we have our amazing potential equilibrium indicator here, indicating, well, some good equilibriums and some not so good equilibriums. What we're doing is potentialities. We're looking for the potential of equilibriums to form, giving you an opportunity to look at the charts, potentially jump into trade, and set your own levels based on your education and your knowledge of equilibrium patterns. So not all of these are going to play out perfectly, but a lot of them will. What we're doing is we're letting you know that the price is coiling, it's tightening, there's a potential equilibrium. So in our first example, we can see something very similar to what we looked at at Litecoin. We see a big breakout, we see a range established on the upside, a low side range, tightening ranges, and finally the break, and finally the break of our last lower high before a big move to the upside, and then a rejection from that level. So on this equilibrium, very good opportunity, 6710 to let's say, well, let's move our indicator window, 6710 to 6787, not too bad. Over here, we see another potential equilibrium. This one's not as pretty. We don't have that big move to the upside or downside before we establish, but we do get a tightening range, ping ponging a little bit before a breakout. Similarly here, we see a much smaller, more contained action, so it doesn't it's not very clear on the 60 minute time frame, but we see that impulse up. We see our ranges being established, a break, and then rejection. Over on Ethereum on the 30 minute time frame, actually on the 60 minute time frame, we have very good examples as well. Impulse up, we have ranges being established, finally, ranges being broken, 
and significant moves to the upside. Once we get that impulse, we see additional ranges being established. Here's the beginning of our equilibrium. We see a big push up. Now, if you're using traditional analysis on equilibriums, this is gonna be a bull break and rejection. So whenever you see uh, a very, very bearish response to what otherwise should be an incredibly bullish play, that just shows you that the bulls have no control and they're exhausted and the bears are going to be able to move the direction in the opposite. And we see that play out very, very effectively here. Jumping over to the 30 minute time frame on Ethereum, we have some examples of some not so great equilibrium patterns here, very wide ranges on no big movements. And then finally over to the left, we see a more typical equilibrium with our upside move, tightening ranges before big profit opportunity. Lastly, we're gonna look at LTC on the 30 minute time frame. Very similar, we see some opportunities and we see a lot of volatility. And some of these are more profitable than others, but we see tightening ranges, we see big moves. Tightening ranges, bearish breaks. Over to the left on LTC, we see another more classical breakout where we have our big breakout, tightening ranges, potential equilibrium, and then move to the upside. So the point and really what this equilibrium pattern is supposed to do is supposed to let you know when we have these movements where we're setting higher lows, lower highs, higher lows, and the range is tightening, giving you that opportunity to jump in. So we're gonna continue to work on this equilibrium pattern. We're gonna continue uh, phase two of our alerts, which is going to be showing you perfect equilibriums and then breaks of equilibriums, letting you know what's happening in the market without ever actually having, having to be at your computer. And that's the whole point of this system. We wanna give you information, we wanna give, give you actionable signals that you can use to trade without being stuck to your computer all the time like we are. But hey, we're trying to make things better for you. So that's our equilibriums. And uh, I'd love to hear your feedback on these. To add to your equilibrium patterns, all you gotta do is get your coin of choice, load up your edit alert panel, and equilibriums are available for you right here, right below bot alert. So set those up, let me know what you think. So let's take a look at some examples of the other alerts that are happening here. Uh, last few days has been pretty wild, a lot of opportunity on uh, BTC, ETH, and XRP. And we see a couple of really good examples on the 30 minute time frame of BTC USD uh, oversold. We see our consolidation. We see our price action quickly moving to the downside. And we have our oversold indicator kickoff right near the bottom before that bounce and recovery. Earlier today, I saw the 15 minute and the 30 minute BTC oversold indicator firing within seconds of each other. And when I know that's happening, the price has got to be moving significantly fast enough to impact the RSI of the 15 and the 30 minute time frame. So when that happens, you're almost always going to get a bounce because it's rare to have multiple time frames oversold at the same time. When you're on your alert system and you see 15 minute and you see 30 minute and you see hourly oversold alerts coming off together within seconds, it's really, really a signal that there's going to be an amazing bounce opportunity. So we've had that. Great bounce opportunity today on BTCUSD 30 minute time frame. And then earlier, we saw another one. So let's take a look at the 15 minutes, see what that looked like. We can see abnormal volume signaling the bottom of a couple of our bounce opportunities. We see 15 minute oversold, doesn't catch the bottom like 30 does, but we can see that over here on the 15 minute, we had that 30 minute and that 15 minute kickoff right around the same time. So still, BTCUSD abnormal volume and oversolds are going to be your bread and butter for at least the foreseeable future. Ethereum it seems to be having a little bit harder time. We're not getting an oversold or overbought territory in the 30 minute time frame, but we are seeing abnormal volume acting as a signal of temporary tops. So we have a big breakout earlier. We saw our abnormal volume leading into consolidation. Another bullish attempt was rejected with good volume. And then we see another abnormal volume on another attempt. And slowly prices have been faltering and trading generally sideways, but a little bit to the downside, hovering around 226. We did have a great oversold bounce opportunity on the, September 30th. We saw prices rapidly falling, and then our 15 minute oversold was able to catch that one. Great bounce opportunity, but we just haven't seen that aggressive downside movement that trips off our Ethereum like we've seen on Bitcoin, at least in the last few days. So keeping an eye on the 15 minute oversold, but we haven't seen that violent price action quite yet. Abnormal volume is still gonna be your ticket on this guy. And then of course, looking to larger term time frames, giving you some insight into direction. Last up, let's check out XRP on the 30 minute time frame. I believe that's the gem I wanna show you guys first. Abnormal volume, again, catching these tops and these bottoms. 
Abnormal volume has always been a really good indication of turnarounds. So if something is happening and you see big price action breaking to the upside, you see abnormal volume, that's a good signal. It's time to either exit or think about a short position. And it's an indication of consolidation. So breakout, abnormal volume, breakout. Abnormal volume, breakout, abnormal volume, and then it always catches these bottoms too, guys. So when we have downside movement, it's the exact same. So we're going up, abnormal volume, it's turn around when we drop abnormal volume. We use abnormal volume to indicate areas of reversal. So that's all we're doing here with our abnormal volume indicator. Now, something that's really neat on the 15 minute time frame that I noticed when I was going through these alerts is check out what the price year has been doing. So the price here is supposed to indicate when we're in, in big breakout ranges. So if we have a tightening range and we haven't moved very much, the price here is supposed to let us know when prices are tearing away from whatever that calculated average is. But I've noticed that on XRP in particular, these price years have been finding the tops very, very effectively. And it's something that I'm going to keep my eye on and I'm going to start looking at playing with calculated ranges to see if I can find something more effective than the price year. But in the short term, I want you guys to keep an eye on XRP on the 15 minute price years because it's really finding effective tops over and over again. And likewise, to the downside, we're seeing price year ranges finding nice little bottoms before bounces. So keep an eye on this one and let me know if you find any other uses for indicators other than what they're intended for. All that means is that we need to reassess our indicators. It means we've learned something new about the market and we can use the tools that we have more effectively in different situations than maybe we anticipated. So exciting application of price year. Let me know what you think. Here, so I'm gonna wrap things up. Thank you so much for watching again. Let me know what you think about the uh, potential equilibrium indicator. Let me know what you think about the old alert system. Whatever you got, I like it. Thank you very much, guys.